We'll take uh, questions for Sincere McCormick. JJ, you're up. Hey, Sincere, thanks for joining us. What was the mood like in the locker room after the game? Um, I told, well, looking forward after the game, we was walking into the locker room. I went in there and encouraged the guy to keep, I encouraged the guys to keep their heads up no matter what. We fought all the way to the to the end and um unfortunately we didn't like the outcome of it but um the the, the atmosphere was like we got to come back the next week and focus on the task at hand we had to work on some stuff with some of the stuff that uh kind of pulled held, held us back in the game we kind of just want to focus on that uh leading up to byu so um we we came in there we know we had our we know we fought all the way to the end and we did everything we possibly could do what was what was when uh, Josh went down and you guys had to get JoJo in there, what was the mood like on the sidelines at that point? When we knew that, you know, JoJo had been behind him and, you know, learning the playbook just as uh, Josh has. And we knew we had to encourage uh, – we had to encourage him to, to do, you know, do everything he could possibly do. Jojo, you know, he, he did everything he could do. Um, he came out there, uh, did the best he possibly could do. You know, we was encouraging him through the whole entire time from, 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 uh, from the time he was in to the time he got out. Greg? Since you're, how much did the game plan change when JoJo went in? Was it kind of different from what you had worked on or talked about during the week? No, um, he came in. He came in, and we continued the same play, but we already had uh, looking forward. I mean, came in with – so when we came in into the game, we were still sticking with the same uh, game plan. JoJo just fit the, pl fit, the, uh, fit the playbook, so he was just the next man up. Did you get a chance to talk to Josh either at halftime or after the game or at any point? Do you know how he's feeling? I, I don't even mean physically, but just like this is a tough break for him to get the start and then go out on the first play. How is he handling it from what you've seen? Um, from what I've seen, he's handling it like a, a man should handle it. He, he's going to encourage his brothers. He's going to continue to fight. Unfortunately, you know, the, the first play had happened. He went down. He was trying to, you know, still encourage Stand by, we uh, <laughs> we lost the computer, so we're getting it back up here shortly. And we continue to keep fighting and, and get in tune with the playbook. Like he was doing everything he could possibly do out there, and you know, like I said, unfortunately for him to go down, he still kept fighting. You had a really productive game individually. What were the keys for you overall? Um, stick to what we've been practicing on, you know, I mean, everything we've been coached to do is it was out there um, leading, studying the film and just the understanding the plays and understanding the defense of what they was going to do for us and uh, allow my offensive line to open up big holes. Um, this is something that we we've constantly been practicing over and over again. So when it happened, we wasn't shot, you know, All right, we kept we kept on pushing them. Coach Trailer said in practice you had the best like metrics on the on the how much people are working, how far they're moving around, and how fast they're going, and that he saw like an extra fire from you this week. Was there something that brought that out of you, or did you see that in yourself? Um, I, I saw it myself um, pretty much. I just knew that I needed to get more in tune. I felt like the past couple of weeks that I I haven't really been myself. Um, I kind of like you talked to myself and you know prayed about it and continued to. To, to drill fire into my teammates not, um, and into myself to work more, do extra, do more than the next man, you know, out there. Um, you know, after practice, running and constantly um, preparing my body for the game, constantly preparing my mind for the game and continue to keep pushing and driving the whole entire time. How about in the third quarter there when Lowell came in, what did that do for your offense overall? Um, pumped us up. We had faith in him just like the last quarterback. We encouraged him um, to make plays. 
we kept him pushing. Um, you know, when we're in the game, we like, I got your back, you got my back, and we all we need, we all we got. That's pretty much how we was going. Well, that's pretty much how we was rolling through the whole game. Anything else for sincere? We'll let him get out of here. Uh, I got. I just okay. one question. Um, yeah. Sincere with you know we don't know what's going to happen with Frank next week. We we hear he's close, but uh, it's becoming very obvious that with, with at least Atkins down and with the quarterback questions, you are going to have to take that leadership role, and you are going to be a main focus for a lot of defenses now more than. Uh, I think in, in times past, if Frank isn't out there, just how much do you, sorry, we got scanners behind us. How much do you relish in that role to be the leader and sort of have to put the team on your back a little bit? I'm willing, I'm willing to take the role. I'm re- willing to encourage my teammates. I'm willing to do everything that needs to be done and possibly be done. I'm constantly out there on, on their heads about, you know, tracks and fits and, you know, encouraging my, my wideouts, um, letting them know that, Let's next play mentality to continue fighting and continue pushing no matter what. Um, being able to step up and you know take that that role is a big is a major key in uh, football in the game of football. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, thanks everyone. Appreciate it.